Okay, imagine this. A kind of fat, kind of bald, white guy. This guy is from Russia. He has been living in Korea for the last 25 years. And he's the best friend of my manager at my previous company. I'd met him a few times before. And there he was at my farewell party again. I was celebrating my last day at the company. We ate Korean barbecue and drank so much. This man was sitting across me. And in an attempt to make me feel bad about leaving the company. Or I don't know honestly what his intention was. He said this. You're from a country like India, Bangladesh. Pakistan where people are dark skinned you're not going to fit in the Korean society and you're gonna have a hard time finding a job Excuse me? Yeah. that was exactly my reaction first he knows I'm from India so he doesn't need to include Bangladesh and Pakistan and insult those people too also this happened last year so I'd been living in Korea for already more than five years and I'd recently graduated with a degree in computer science with a job lined up after I left that startup because I was recruited whereas he was a 30 something marketer for a b-list celebrity making less than <laughs> Money doesn't equal success and the point is not to put him down but get his attitude in check. That interaction was one of the most in-your-face racist interaction I've had with someone that I knew through colleagues. Until this day, it bothers me so I decided to make this video. Other interactions have been like just being stared at or being asked about why I'm here and when I'm going back to my country in a rude way. It's like they look down upon you even though you're actually doing so much better than them and you're probably way smarter than them. Korean people are racist but not everyone is racist so I don't want to generalize so much. What's surprising is that white people here are so racist too. Like what superiority complex do you have because of your skin color oh i know why the superiority complex comes from belonging to a developed country south korea they discriminate literally all the people come from poor countries mm. that includes i'm so sorry india You're philippines sorry. thailand yeah. vietnam and north korea too we are very poor yeah and they look up to people coming from the western european countries who are white they just discriminate us because we are coming from a poor country and i care about money just as much as any other person but does discriminating people like this make you a decent person racism in the workplace i recorded this video in parts and now you're gonna see me wearing the only indian outfit that i have the same outfit that i wore on halloween this year actually a good thing a really good thing is that when you're working in a professional environment your race and where you're from none of that matters what you look like none of that matters they only care about your skill level and how well you perform as an engineer or as a doctor working professional no one cares about where you're from but when it comes to like the world outside of work they do start caring about it i forgot to mention that it does matter if you are working in the service sector or the entertainment industry your looks matter a lot in those fields i've been rejected from restaurant part-time jobs because of what i look like and it's okay it's okay i literally don't care anymore because i can sit and code for an hour and earn five times more than what a waiter or a barista would make let's say that you have a class where there's a team project it's usually the foreign students who have the hardest time finding a group and that's because korean people are racist not everyone again not everyone and they have the excuse that they think that in fact, when I was in my final year and for the capstone project for CS majors, I had a super hard time finding a team. Even though I was a good student, not really that hardworking, but I was a good student. I got a job even before graduating. In my final semester, I got a scholarship from the CS department. Is it easy to make friends here in Korea? It's easy to make acquaintances. When you meet someone for the first time, they're gonna be so curious about you. They're gonna add you on Instagram and everything. Those are acquaintances. Making real friends, not that easy. I feel like you do need to speak good amount of Korean because a lot of Korean people are terrible at English and I really don't want to hear their broken English. So, so I just tell them that I can understand Korean. Please speak in Korean. Am I judging them? Yes. This is how a lot of my interactions with people go. You're gonna see my friend Hain, who helped me film this roleplay. And if Korean people know a little bit about India, they only know about curry. And my expression is like... I've noticed that it's usually the smart people, let's say from Sky. Actually, no. People from Korea University asked me about curry. So I would say only 
Seoul National and Yonsei. People so from Seoul National or Yonsei, they know a little bit about India. They ask me thoughtful questions. I think in Korea, living in Korea is not just limited to racism, it's also way more jisangjui, which I would call lookism. People really do care about what you look like and they care about your position in the in the hierarchy, that's what I wanted to say. I also tried to conduct street interviews for this video. Honestly, the interviews were so nerve-wracking and I couldn't approach people to do it. When I mustered up enough courage to interview a girl, turns out she was Japanese. So we're gonna do the Korean Omegle thing and ask people online what they think about India in the next video. So please subscribe to Senseverse. Okay, so I'm editing this video right now. While I was researching about other Indian people living in Korea, I found this comment. I'm from New Delhi and I stayed in Korea for a month during July. What Sita said about Latinos and Indians having similar looks, but one being fetishized, the other being frowned upon is so true. I would go to clubs and men would assume I'm a Latina, Brazilian or Spanish. The way they would change the way they talked to me or treated me the moment I would tell them I'm from India was insane. They would shift from being interested, even desperate sometimes, to being dismissive in an instant. Also, I didn't really face as much racism as my black roommate. I would mostly get taxis without trouble, but whenever I was with her, the taxis would almost never stop for us. I hope the younger generation of Korea really changes the way their country treats people from other countries who have nothing but love and respect for Korea's culture, country and people. <laughs> Indo as in India. Have you heard of India before? Son, son, what did I say? Indo as in Indonesia, okay. and then you were like yeah. hand motion. <laughs> Indo as in India, not Indonesia. Indonesia is a completely different country in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Haven't you heard of it? <laughs> and then, and then I go. <laughs> I'm a big learning on <laughs> Light bulb. Ah, that's right. Where did you come from? I was studying in the first I rolled back. It's so funny. I'm on top of the first time. 